What is up, guys? Anime, t uh, anime, any tier, guild forever, however you want to call me. Crap, just moving this around. Um, going to be reviewing No Game, No Life episodes 10, 11, and 12. Fun few episodes. I love the last game they did, which is basically kind of like a shooter tag kind of game style. I really did enjoy that, and the way how they were able to beat um, the girl uh, Izuna was pretty damn ingenious but i will have to admit the complications that they had to get to in order to get that victory is nuts to me like their way how they see things in advance is almost inhuman doesn't even feel human to 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 look that far ahead and to read the situation to that detail is just insane to me especially in a fast-paced game this is it's hard to believe that they're able to take the initiative and act accordingly to their plan despite like the heat of the moment when a single flawed mistake can cost you the whole game. I guess I know it's not like you're like one person doing all this by yourself. It's like two very intelligent people think uh, thinking as one unity. One makes up for the other if the other is having an issue keeping up or they're in trouble. But uh uh, yeah, that that's the one. That's the one thing that I definitely want. Like, that it's crazy to me that they're able to do things like this. Oh, excuse me. But I was kind of confused toward the end. And when I mean the end, I mean the very freaking. Okay, can you freaking hold up? Hold up, guys. The camera is being stupid. Thank you. The camera acts stupid sometimes. I apologize in advance. But yeah. Um, what really confused me is the very last part. When Shiro and Sora were asking Bay, Like since you're a shrine priestess. Then you must have that right. We're curious. And I think I can probably guess what they meant. I don't know who this exact deity is that they called upon. But I feel like since, you know, shrine pri shrine priestesses, they pretty much look after, they watch over a shrine of some kind of god or goddess's shrine. So I'm, so what I'm assuming they meant is like, do you, do you have a god or a goddess that you watch over? And if you do, can you bring them here so we can have like a one, like a, like a, like a game? That's what I'm assuming they meant. If I'm wrong, someone explain to me what it is in the comment section below. Sorry, I just recently ate earlier. Um, but yeah, it was very much... <laughs> but Sora was pretty smart. At the end of the day, he wasn't trying to utterly take down the werebeast, like, you know, the werebeast, like, their people and their... Um, uh, country and all that they weren't trying to take them over or hurt them or do them any harm he's trying to join forces with them so they're able to gather the other races in order to be able to take down you know uh tet so in order for that to happen he feels like he needs the cooperation of majority of the races or at least the were beasts for now and by utterly defeating them and taking their peace it's like you're doing all this so alone and like so alone and like with limited numbers that you want to have as much backup as you can get so in my opinion his approach was definitely the best one he's gathered the werebeast and now made them a part of their kingdom or their country essentially and i thought like that was good because and the best way to do it is by have himself make sure he wins but have the opposition feel like they win too. That way they get something. And he gets majority of what he wants in the end. That that way without making feel what without making the werebees feel subjective or like discriminator or whatnot. And in my opinion, that is a good idea. Because if he won and took all their rights and everything, then he would feel like a tyrant. And then no one who really wants to be under the influence of a tyrant. But if he let, but if he let her win, while at the same time, making sure he gets what he wants, it's kind of like a give and take. You give and you take, and it feels like an even trade. That way, it doesn't feel like the other side didn't get too much, while you ended up with nothing. 
this is a way to keep them within friendly um i guess you can say it, it's kind of f- funny enough it's kind of like where you you you're you're opposing another country and you completely defeated them in battle but they want revenge so you see this is a way to beat them while at the same time not subjecting them you manage to get them on your side making less likely of a chance for them to like you know want to take vengeance on you they're on your side now this was a very smart approach done with the simple game of like i'm sure he could have done like another more elaborate complicated game but he's like bro i'm tired i went through so much crap in the other game i don't feel like thinking right now man let's just decide with the coin toss i already know how i'm gonna win <laughs> we'll have us win and the bet and i will have to admit the sora sora is very smart he he wanted to he wanted to make sure he doesn't lose anything and get as many like you know many benefits to their prestige country and their people as possible while at the same time not undermining them so they don't come after their asses later in fact he wants them on their side and not just because he wants the freaking furries even though i'm pretty sure that's like 50 to 60 percent of the reason why but for the most part he wanted to make sure it was like a unison between two different race two different countries and join as one united front and honestly he handled that brilliantly this guy doesn't cease to amaze me he did this to make sure he get the backup of the uh the l uh, well shit <laughs> there was a lot of dialogue let's just say that but for those that can clear up a few a few short ends that i didn't that i looked past on or didn't touch upon in this review or during my reaction please let them be known in the comment section below because there was a lot of freaking dialogue in this which is which is always the case in regards to no game no life but i still enjoy it nonetheless but i still can't when I f- took a moment to realize what he did, I'm like, bro, that was ingenious. And the that was ingenious and by far the best outcome you can come up with. You got so much benefits off the wear beast while at the same time having them on your side, but giving them their rights back. This was an ingenious move. He could have been a dick and be like, nah, I'm going to win. Take all, take everything from you and you don't even get your rights. That's going to leave a salty taste in their mouth. And definitely they're going to want vengeance. Possibly a, a coup d'etat or however you say, you know, like a, a cope operation, a coup d'etat cope operation to where like, you know, assassinate the king. Give your rice back, do something for your people. But if you do something that's good for them as well as benefit yourself, that's a way to get them on your side and get them to mutually like you, not just see you as the one that beats you. You're showing that you're a merciful king, while at the same time, you will still want to keep that sense of authority, but not completely uh, subject or completely like hurt discriminating another race of people that's already fallen but thanks to this they don't feel like they fallen but i but they might feel like they found a new companionship within shiro and sora and once again sora handled that amazingly loved it loved it the guy is a genius and i can't help but really get like mesmerized and just overall just like like, like bro like my goodness the crap that he thinks of there is not a single flawed move in his plan it's always just either not even just good it just gets better better and just better and everything went up you saw on his phone it went according to plan this guy's a freaking mad genius like holy crap When I thought I've seen it all and this guy just surprises me one episode after the other. (laughs) 
but yeah, overall, overall, it was um, it was it, like like I said, like I said, it was still very good, very much enjoyable, very much what I wanted to get out there. But yeah, let's just get into the questions. Question one. In your honest opinion, if Sora did try to utterly beat this shrine priestess, like in a more elaborate game, do you feel like Sora could have Sora and Shiro, otherwise the blank, could they have won? In your honest opinion, let me know in the comment section below. Where do you think they'd win or not? Um, for that question, question two. If there is one thing you didn't get to see enough of in this season or in this series because there's not another season of No Game No Life. If there was one thing, one... <sighs> Excuse me. Anyway, if there was one thing in this series that you didn't get to see enough of that you wish you did see more of, what would it be? And let me know why in the comment section below. The number one thing I feel like I would have liked to see more of that we didn't get to see. We did touch upon it, but we didn't. I feel like we could have seen more. I would have liked to see more of. Um, more of how Shiro and Sora's life was before becoming, you know, before being brought into this world. What was their life of? What made them so like so much needs? Like what made them s encage themselves so much? And why do they always feel uncomfortable whenever they're outside in public? You know, like that's just not something that happens to you. you I mean, what I know, I know you can say like you can put two and two together. Needs kind of have that habit to where they don't want to be outside. But I feel like it's more complicated than that. You know what I mean? I just feel like I would have liked to see more. They did touch some things upon in their past, but it was very subtle. I felt like they only touched the tip of the iceberg and they could have shown a lot more. So that's what I felt like they could have shown more of for this series. Let me know what it was for you guys that you didn't see enough of that you wish you would have seen more of from this series in question two. Um, in your response to it. But yeah, that's it for me. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. It really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys. It's my guildmates, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.